Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we have our seventh lecture, chapter number one, and today's topic is limit of important function. And uh, this topic is at page number nineteen of your book. Now, limits of limits of some important functions if by substituting the number that x approaches into the function and we get zero by zero form then we evaluate the limit as follow we simplify the given function by using algebraic techniques of making factors if possible and cancel the common factors the method is explained in the following important limit here we have an example that is 1.5.1 1 .1 in which limit x approaches to a and x n minus a n divided by x minus a is equals to n times a n minus y and where n is an integer an integer and a is greater than 0 now in in a solution of this section we take the left hand side of this part that x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a we will take this part of this question and we in uh, in the end of this part we prove that this fraction limit of this fraction is equals to n times a n minus 1 for this purpose we will take two cases in case 1 in case 1 where n is a n is positive integer positive integer mean plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to so on and if we ch substitute in this case n is a positive integer and by substitution by substitution by substituting x is equals to a in equation 1 this is our equation number 1 limit limit x approaches to limit x approaches to a and uh, we have taken uh, the uh, sub by substitution method we take x is equals to a why we take x is equals to a because our limit x approaches to a so we put uh, instead of this x we put a so here we have x n minus a n divided by x minus a and uh, so where we have x n or this fraction we put its value a so let uh, so x approaches to a limit x n minus a n divided by x minus a becomes equals to a n a n minus a n divided by x minus a sorry here we also have this a so what we have we have this will be cancelled with this and we get 0 by 0 form right we get 0 by 0 form if we put 
if we substitute x is equals to a in equation 1 so uh, what will be the next step because our question uh, it seems to be finished at this point 0 by 0 uh, form means you have an undefined form and you can't uh, solve it further so by uh, uh, we use such type of method um, through which we escape from this situation so what we do for this we we take such uh, uh, just numerator xn minus an we just take this part of our question we take xn minus an and we apply just a simple technique and the technique is we uh, we make the factors of this part and how we make the factors uh, you have uh, uh, maybe you uh, you remember the uh, binomial function uh, binomial theorem in your uh, which you have studied in your uh, first year course in which we make factors and the same factor we will use here x n minus a n is equals to x minus a into x n minus one plus a x n minus 2 plus a square x n minus 3 plus up to plus a n minus 1 and remember here we have a and x a here a get the value 0 and the highest power is n minus 1 so a naught x n minus 1 then a gets one uh, one bigger value than previous one so a value is 1 uh, a power the power of a is 1 and x n minus 1 and it uh, it uh, and by proceeding values through proceeding values the uh, power of x is decreases and the power of a is increases here we have a naught then a1 a square up to highest power and that is n minus 1 and x naught and here x has a highest power so xn minus 1 then the smaller value is xn minus 2 the more smaller value is xn minus 3 and up to x naught right now we use this factor in our equation number 1 so we we can write limit x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a and at the place of x n minus a n we use the factors of x n minus a n so limit is uh, will uh, and limit is same x approaches to a and x n minus a n becomes x minus a into x n minus 1 plus a x n minus 2 plus a square x n minus 3 plus up to plus a n minus 1 and whole divided by the same factor which is x minus a I will repeat the question the uh, we have the question was limit x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a in which n is a positive integer and if we we directly apply this limit x approaches to a to this fraction we get 0 by 0 form and by getting 0 by 0 form our question will be stuck over here so to avoid this form what we will do we factorize this part of our function of our question so by factorizing this part our question becomes limit x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a is equals to limit before apply becomes the remains the same so limit x approaches to a x minus a and up to uh, and uh, you multiply by this factor and divided by x minus a 
so uh, what uh, what happened we get the same factor x minus a divided by x minus a and these two factors are cancelled out with each other and we get the advantage of this uh, cancellation how because now if we apply the limit on the remaining part of our question we will not get zero by zero form I will do here then you can see how we escape from the situation of 0 by 0 form a x n minus 2 plus a square x n minus 3 plus plus a n minus 1 now you can apply the limit of your question directly to this factor so what we get a instead of x we can write a a n minus 1 plus a a will be the same and we write instead of this x a again n minus 2 why because the limit has we have applied the limit to this factor so in next step we will not write limit x approaches to a practically we applied the limit to this factor so a n minus 1 instead of x n minus 1 we can now write a n minus 1 a a power n minus 2 same plus a square and x n instead of x n minus 3 we can write a n minus 3 plus up to plus a n minus 1 the main part we have done uh, and now we are just doing the simplification of all question if we split the base we can write it a n into a minus 1 plus a or um, just wait we can if we write this part like uh, a n minus 1 plus a the bases are same so we can add the powers 1 plus n minus 2 plus same a square in uh, my plus n minus 3 plus 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 a n minus 1 same a n minus 1 plus a 1 minus 2 so we get n minus 1 plus a minus 3 plus 2 again we get n minus 1 plus up to a n minus 1 means now we have these are n terms and so we can write these are n times a n minus 1 and this is the result which we are proving here a x n minus a n divided by x minus a is equals to n times a n minus 1 this is a very important uh, part which are frequently comes in your paper and uh, now we are going to solve the case 2 of this question the first case which we have solved for n is a positive integer but now in case 2 we solve it for now in case 2 we discuss when n is a negative integer so suppose n is negative integer say n is equals to minus m right instead of n n was the positive integer but in this case we have considered that n is a negative integer so we can write n is equals to minus m where m itself is a positive integer where m is a positive integer
Now we start the solution of or this part. Xn minus a n divided by x minus a. And here we have taken the substitution. n is equals to minus m. So we can write x minus m minus a minus m divided by x minus a. Okay. Now if we write. If we write it like. If we uh, write this part of our question like 1 by, uh, let me write here, 1 by xm minus 1 by am divided by x minus a or taking xm uh, am as an LCM and here we have am minus xm divided by x minus a or we can write it like uh, 1 by x minus a into am minus xm divided by am xm. This is the second equation. Now comes to your question. The question was, so what we have to prove that was the left hand side and that was limit x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a and we by using this substitution we can write we will uh, we can write this part x n minus a n we apply the value of n which we have supposed here minus m so or question becomes equals to x minus m minus a m divided by x minus a and here we have calculated the value for this fraction and this fraction is becomes equals to this part so by applying by using by using equation equation 2 we get limit x approaches to a 1 by x minus a into a m minus x m divided by a m x m And now limit x approaches to a 1 by x minus a. And if we change the position of these two uh, terms, we have minus sign over here and we can write it xm minus am divided by am xm. And we know that limit x approaches to a minus 1 by x minus a. Here again as we have done in the case 1 where we get x n minus a n is equals to we have use the factors factorial form of the factor form of this uh, part we get x minus a into x n minus 1 plus 
a x n minus 2 plus 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 up to x naught and a n minus 1. So similarly, we can use, we can apply this factor form to this part, uh, part also x m minus a m. The difference uh, is uh, the difference is just of uh, n and m. So we can apply this factor to uh, this factor over here. So we can write uh, here m times m times a m minus one divided by a m x m into uh, wait I will exp uh, I will write it uh, here this is the uh, exterior part and we can write it like this we have x minus a into m times a m minus 1 divided by a m into x m. No need of this bracket. We just, we can use here just square brackets. Okay. Now limit x approaches to A. Here this factor and this factor are cancelled with each other. And we have minus 1 by AM XM into M AM minus 1. And now we can apply the limit of our function. So when we apply the limit, we our question becomes one minus one divided by AM again AM. Here at the place of x we can write a because now we are applying the limit to this function. And again m into a m minus 1. Minus 1 by a 2 times m into m a m minus 1. Here the bases are same so we can write minus 1 into or minus 1 or minus m 1 multiplied by m and minus m and a m minus 1 minus 2 m and which we can write m a minus 1 minus 1 minus m And again, our substitution was n is equals to, in this case 2, we have using the substitution where n is equals to minus m. So if we again replace minus m by n, what we get, we get limit x approaches to a x n minus a n divided by x minus a is equals to instead of this m we can write n and a minus 1 and minus m is again equals to plus n or n a n minus 1 so you can see for both values of n we obtain the same result for n is equal for when the n is a positive integer or when the n is a negative integer we have the same result
so this is the very important theorem and uh, now <coughs> we have used this theorem to the second um, second example when we are taking the limit x approaches to zero and with the with a different function okay now at page 20 page 20 we have an another example in which we have limit x approaches to 0 under root x plus a minus under root a divided by x is equals to 1 by 2 under root a okay now again you can check this part by applying if you apply this x approaches to 0 means limit x approaches to 0 if you apply this limit directly to this part of your question what you get you can uh, you can see it over here we have limit x approaches to 0 under root x plus a minus under root a divided by x okay apply 0 plus a under root minus under root a and divided by 0 so something divided by 0 is also an undefined form and we here we have under root a minus under root a divided by 0 so again you get 0 by 0 form means you cannot apply x approaches to 0 directly to this uh, uh, such type of a question so to uh, say similarly as we have done in the previous theorem that uh, we escape we use a simple technique to avoid such type of situation and same we will uh, same we apply the same technique uh, on this question what we do we apply by uh, we have a solution what we have limit x approaches to 0 under root x plus a minus under root a divided by x and we we can rationalize such type of functions we rationalize the numerator of this function limit x approaches to 0 under root x plus a minus under root a divided by x and we multiply and divide this numerator by changing the sign under root x plus a plus under root a divided by under root x plus a plus under root a limit x approaches to 0 here we uh, we can apply the formula of a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square so here we have x plus a under root minus under root a whole squares and divided by x into under root x plus a plus under root a okay so 2 is cancelled with this under root and we have limit x approaches to 0 x plus a minus a divided by x into under root x plus a plus under root a plus a and minus a are cancelled and this x is cancelled with this x and simply we get limit 
x approaches to 0, 1 divided by under root x plus a plus under root a and now if you apply the limit to this part of your question, this form of your question, you get 1 by 0 plus a, a will be the same and you just replace x with this 0, we, you apply limit to uh, to or to your function and that's why you will not write limit x approaches to 0 over here you just practically apply the limit to your question 1 divided by 0 plus a under root plus under root a and the answer is 1 divided by 2 under root a and this is the solution of our theorem Thank you very much. This is the end of our today's lecture.